Every day when we come into work, we have to check our equipment off. We've got different bags for different emergencies, a red airway bag for breathing problems, this trauma bag for any kind of trauma, and a medical bag. We've got our cardiac monitor up here. And with these tools, we can handle any emergency that comes out. Do something! Do something! My arm's bleeding! Help! We've been shot! We've been shot! We've been shot. The training doesn't stop when you leave the academy. You get your certifications, but in order to be a proficient provider, you have to maintain them. We have regular continuing education credits that we have to go through. Our certifications are, need to be recertified every couple years, whether that's going through cardiovascular emergencies, different types of medical situations and whatnot, because we don't know what we're going to respond to. I've always had a need to help people, and um, I, was, you know, I did six years in the military, but I kind of just worked with machinery and stuff like that. I didn't really get to to work with people a whole lot on you know a more individual basis. So becoming a you know a firefighter paramedic, getting to help people every day, um, you know was a, a huge like kind of goal of mine. Like just the idea of it was you know was was pretty up there for me. So you know once I got in the military, I really tried to pursue that something that you know I could I could go to work every day and go home every day just like glad that I could help somebody out. So the kind of person best fitted for this job is someone who's honest, they have some integrity. You know, we go into people's houses in the worst moments of their lives. Um, someone who's willing to work hard, have a good work ethic, someone who's physically strong, able to do the job. There's a lot of physical aspects of it. It's, you know, there's a lot of information to go through and learn um, from being certified as an EMT up to paramedic, even on the, the fire side as well. There's, there's a lot of information, a lot of testing that goes into it. Every call we go on is different, so it's, it's not like you can always prepare because even if it's a chest pain, we had a chest pain yesterday, you know, this individual person's chest pain is something that's completely different. So, we, you know, we have our protocols that we go along with, but it's all about reading people as well, and I think that's one of the great things about this job is that, you know, it's, it's, it's always different, it's always a challenge, but um, we do have plenty of training and experience to fall back on as well. But. Um, you know, you just kind of fall in those protocols and that training and that experience. And, you know, thankfully I'm here at a station. I'm, I'm fairly new. I've only been here for not even two years. And I've got two paramedics here at the station with me that their experience, you know, they can jump in and help me and whatnot whenever they can. And that's, that's a really good feeling. So I enjoy what I do. Uh, I like being a firefighter paramedic. It's been one of the most rewarding things that's happened to me in my life is getting into the fire service and getting into EMS. Uh, I, I truly enjoy coming here every day, being physically active, being challenged. I never know what we're going to go on, and, and that's exciting to me. I can't imagine myself doing anything different.